there. Welcome to the Two Minute Vinyl Review. I am Sam the Record Man, and we are Vinyl Junkies. I received this uh, Cherry Glazer record a couple of weeks before it came out, and um, I kind of like the fact that I get promo like that because it gives me a chance to absorb the music. So what I'll do is I'll tell you about where I'm at right now. Maybe 11 years ago or something, we moved into this house. My daughter was only one year old, and we moved into where we are right now. And uh, I installed a big old fucking deck out there with a swimming pool. So the mixtape has always been something super important. And that mixtape has always evolved over the years. I'm always adding something to it. Every time when it's the dead of winter like this, especially when spring comes along, I'm always thinking of what songs have I listened to for the last year that'll look fucking slamming, that'll sound slamming while chilling out on a deck, having a barbecue, having a swim. That's always what winds up happening year after year. And um, Cherry Glazer is definitely going to be on that mix. Now this morning... After listening to the record a dozen times for sure, I took to trying to figure out which songs I would pick from there. And it's like, okay, well, this song will go on, that song will go on. Sorry, I don't know names, man. I don't, too many records, I don't remember titles and stuff. But what it is that I wound up doing is I wound up going to Spotify and just downloading the whole fucking thing. Because the way I figured it is, you know what, it's all good, I can't choose it. Let it just happen. Well, the family's chilling, friends are chilling, we're hanging out and see which tunes kind of wind up staying for the long run, like the tunes that started 11 years ago, and which tunes wind up getting phased out. But right now, I'm at the point where I think the entire album is so catchy and so good that I just put the whole thing in. There's one tune that has kind of this driving force that reminds me of Queens of the Stone Age, Go With The Flow. In terms of just that drive, you know, dun, 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 it's pretty cool. Um, overall, I think probably the feel I get most from it is 90s Veruca Salt, that first record. I don't remember the names to those songs either, other than Seether and Spider-Man. And um, it's got this, although I don't know the names of the songs, Seether and Spider-Man. Cherry Glazer has their version, and I'm sure they're going to wind up on that mixtape that I'm talking about all the time. Now, why do I talk about Spotify and playlists and streaming when this is supposed to be a vinyl review? Very simple. Because anything on my playlist, on my summer playlist, is stuff that I've listened to for the whole year. So I wind up listening to it on wax, and if I don't like what it sounds like on wax and it doesn't move me that way, it doesn't get on. This record, with that bright orange sherbet happening, it fucking rules so that's my two minute video review vinyl review if you like this please subscribe to the channel watch the other videos on the playlist binge you have something else i should be talking about hit me man always willing to talk about music which albums should i be listening to until then sam the record man out boom <clears throat> something got stuck in my throat there.